An exceptionally rare fossil of a young species of Tyrannosaur has been unearthed in Canada. Not the fact that it's a young specimen, but the fact that it died with its stomach full and we can see what it ate. Welcome back to Paleopedia and the group of theropod dinosaurs known as the Tyrannosaurs are arguably the most well-known and beloved groups of dinosaurs. Probably what makes them so fascinating is as adults, all of them were at the top of the food chain. They were big, they were bulky, they had massive heads, incredibly powerful jaws, nothing really messed with them at all. But as juveniles, they really couldn't have been more different, almost puny by comparison, with long skinny legs, smaller, narrower teeth, and narrower jaws. Clearly, it took a lot of growing for these young tyrannosaurs to bulk up figuratively and literally into the apex predators that they end up becoming. This transition from thin hunter to a thick brawler is thought to be associated with a gradual change in diet. The adults were clearly built to tackle powerful herbivores like the hadrosaurs, ceratopsians like triceratops, and armored dinosaurs like ankylosaur. The juveniles, by comparison, were no way capable of taking down that type of prey. The problem with this is we don't really know what exactly the juveniles did eat. There hasn't been a lot of evidence that shows what they were chewing on as they were growing up. That is until a recent study of a fossil of a young Gorgosaurus, a Tyrannosaur from Canada and Alaska that was unearthed at the Dinosaur Provincial Park in Canada in 2009. Based on the growth rings of the bones, this young Gorgosaurus was thought to have died around six to seven years old and weighed about 350 kilograms. And while it might have died young, it certainly didn't die hungry. During preparation in 2010, Darren Tankey, the technician who actually discovered the fossil, noticed that there were knuckle bones protruding out of the rib cage of this Gorgosaurus. These bones turned out to belong to two individuals of a small oviraptorid species of dinosaur called Cydipes. Based on stomach acid damages, the two juvenile Cydipes individuals, both around a year old, were consumed at different points in time, and notably, both were represented mainly by leg bones. As it turns out, this young Gorgosaurus seemed to have preferred the drumsticks of its prey. While that is probably because, at least for theropod dinosaurs including Cydipes, the thighs and legs were probably the meatiest part of the animal, which is likely what this Tyrannosaur probably wanted to go after the most. But importantly, Cydipes being an oviraptorid dinosaur was likely very, very quick, including when it was a juvenile, indicating that at least Gorgosaurus as a juvenile, at least at some point or another, would go after faster prey. This obviously helps us understand more about the life cycle of not just Gorgosaurus, but its relatives like Tyrannosaurus rex, in that the juveniles went after faster prey, whereas the adults went after slower, more powerful prey. And this is the first fossil representing the diet of a young Tyrannosaurus, so it is an incredibly important find. There's also an added bonus to this fossil, as Cydipedes is only represented by a few bones, and these bones are actually representing the most complete fossilized remains of that species. Of course, like I said, that's an added bonus. The real important part is that we know more about the life cycle, specifically regarding the diet of young Tyrannosaurs, and that cannot be overstated. 